And, and uh, I believe, you know, of course, June 29th is the first official fight date for Joe on DAZN. What do you think we see against Eric Molina? Because against Alexander Flores, what a knockout. So do you think we get something similar against Molina? Well, you know, um, we're going to see... We're going to see a few new skill sets from Joseph Parker in the next fight. We've changed a few things around, um, and we and we you know we needed to. Um, but I'm ex as a coach, I'm really excited. Uh, I'm seeing some really good stuff in the gym at the moment, and uh, you know I think that that and I talked to about I talked to, to a lot of people about this over the last couple of years. I said this young man is going to start in, uh, in one or two years to grow into his man's body. He's now grown into his man body. And I'm seeing a totally different strength level. I'm seeing a totally different athlete uh, in, the, in the training environment. So look, I, I'm excited about our prospects moving forward. And with Joe, uh, you've talked about in the past trust in the process. How does it feel that your fighters remain loyal to you? It seems like as soon as uh, not all fighters, but with some fighters in today's boxing, as soon as they hit a loss or a snag, they're, they're quick to kind of blame their team, blame their trainer. But Joe has, is staying with you through everything into the second act of his career. How's that feel? Well, no, look, it feels great. You know, Joe's, Joe's a real guy. Um, you know, he's not one of these guys that blames everyone else when things aren't going right. You know, he's a team, he's a team player. And, uh, you know, we have a Terrific, terrifically close relationship. We, you know, we have a lot of respect for each other and, and have a lot of belief in each other. And I think that's what makes us such a good team. And uh, last, Kevin, I got to ask you about the always fun and entertaining Tyson Fury. I know out here in Vegas, he, he paid you guys a visit, used your gym a little bit, isn't that right? Yes, he did. Yeah. So you're going to give us all the juicy details on how the sparring went and well, tell look, it. <laughs> you know, Tyson's a Tyson's a great guy and someone that we've uh, Joe especially has had a had a good relationship with him since Joe fought uh, Huey Fury. Um, uh, you know, they, him and Ben asked if they could come to the gym. They had a bit of fun while they were here. They wanted to call in and say good day. Um, we loved having him here. You know, uh, uh, I think Tyson more than anyone else, um, his stocks would have gone through the roof after that performance on Saturday night. Because of his boxing ability, uh, do you rank him as the best heavyweight out when it comes to Ruiz uh, and Wilder and himself? Well, I think he has the most skill. Um, you know, I think I think uh, Deontay Wilder has the the biggest punch. You know, um, and, and I think it'll be one of those occasions where it won't be till the end of his career that people actually realize he's one of the biggest punches of all time mm -hmm. in heavyweight boxing. Um, but I think Tyson Fury is uh, an incredible boxer. Uh, with with uh, the most awkward style, which uh, and with also with uh, very good durability, which makes him a, a pretty complete fighter. In the close, do we ever see Tyson Fury versus Joe Parker? And if it did happen, how would you train? How, how does Joe beat Tyson Fury? KO first round. <laughs> with a chainsaw. <laughs> he, he takes his legs off with a chainsaw. Oh. Come on. <laughs> you know they don't permit that in the ring, Kevin. <laughs> you know, um, Tyson's already come out and said he wouldn't fight Joe Parker because they're such good mates. Um, you know, Tyson's, a, a, Tyson's a, an awkward style for anyone. We'll leave it at that, Kevin. Right. Thank you so much for your time. All right, buddy. Thank you.